Hello, I'm Glenn DeCostin from CalMotion. I'm going to show you the new optional 527F panel that you can add to your machine. It's an option for the control. You don't need to. But you might have a control pendant that might need a lot of cleaning up. And you're going to get everything brand new with this new panel. Another nice feature that you're going to get with the panel is a lot of single button function keys that you'll be able to set up and run your machine much more efficiently. So you remove the display. The panel comes with a new monitor. So the next step is to take off the things we don't need anymore. Push back all the switches off the panel before we pull it off. And then once you get that, you pull off all the, the switches off here, and then we're gonna remove these screws and then pull the panel off. And now we can move on to installing the new panel. So at this point, we've installed the display interface card and also the new keyboard interface cable with this white Cat5 cable. We won't be using the old interface ribbon type cable. So let's grab the new panel. Uh, so to get the panel in you may want to come a little bit from the top and slip it in underneath. The next step of the installation process will be bringing the switches and the pots through and then putting the knobs on. But just remember when you're putting the pots and the switches through there's also a little washer that has a tab on it. This tab is going to go in a hole in the back of the panel and this prevents it from rotating so don't forget to put that on. So once you add all the knobs that'll finish the installation of the panel. The main new feature is the set of auxiliary type keys. They're broken up into several different sections display function setup editor and cursor keys. The display function uh, has some important mode type functions, things like to display your, your alarms, to look at your parameters, to go to the help. Uh, you can also go to diagnostics, turn off diagnostics, or you can display your tool offsets, you can display your fixture offsets, or the macro variables. You can also go to MDI, or you can go to the editor, or you can go back to enter next command. So basically the display functions controls the modes of the machine. The other section is the functions, which are mainly things that have to do with machine type functions. One example is to go home. You press the go home. Other things are fixtures, tools. You can get next tools. You can also orient the spindle. You can also get next tool. For setting up tools, you can use the tool utility. It goes right into being able to set multiple TO tools. You can also go directly into the fixture offset utility to set uh, midpoint, center of circles, or jog to locate a certain fixture offset. You can also go specifically to a fixture offset if you'd like to do that. The, uh, Load tool is a function to load tools directly into the carousel where the Z is going to come up and now I can load tools manually into the spindle or into the, the carousel. You can also go into the utility function. If you have a rotary table, uh, the M60, 61 and 62, 63 are here for break on, break off. If you have a probe tool setting or a spindle probe, you can use the M64 or 65 to turn on and off those functionalities. The setup section has to do with setting up tools or machine coordinate systems. First, you set the set button, and then you set the function that you need to do. So if I were to go into jog and I wanted to set my tool length, I could jog down my Z and then set tool length and now my tool link has been set. I can also establish what the height block is that I'm currently using. So if it was wrong, I can set it to, let's say, one inch, and then set my tool link 
and now it's been corrected for my height block that I'm currently using. If I have a diameter on this tool, I can then set diameter and enter a diameter for that particular tool. I can also establish my new coordinate system by using set X or set Y or set Z. So right now I have Z of minus 7, so I'm going to set my Z to 7. And now my machine coordinates has now been zeroed out at this position. If I'd like to then go back to machine coordinates, I can say set cold start position. And now I'm restored to my machine coordinate system. I can also set all my homes by saying set home. So that would be the setup functions that deal with tools and machine coordinate systems. The editor of the cursor section control the things in the editor. The cursor are self-explanatory. You can go down and up. You go to the top of the program, end of the program, page down, page up. You also have the change button, which is where the cursor is, I can press change and make a change in the program. The other ones of the editor section are the search and the search and replace. So I can do a search or I can do a search and replace for something in the current loaded program. I can copy lines in the program or I can even insert lines in the program or renumber the program. I can also display the program library if I want to choose a new program. We also have the functions keys and we can also locate errors within the program by pressing this. And here I have an error. This program is actually the wrong mode, so I found an error. Go back to the editor. Let's pick another program. I can press the SD to directory to show the current SD programs. If that's not where I'm looking, I need to get to the USB. I can press the USB directory, and that's going to access the USB disk installed. Let's load this program. So now I can go back to the editor. I have a plotting function, and I can then plot this. I also have a LAN directory. The LAN directory is if I have a remote computer that has a directory that I want to access, you can press that. You'll have to have that set up though. We also have a replacement of the spindle load meter, which is kind of a little more animated. So when I turn on the spindle, it's going to show you the load. Even though in the new panel, we have all these new auxiliary keys, which make things much easier and always active on the panel. It doesn't mean you still can't use the old commands that you might have used. Let's say like set X. Those commands can still be used, all those typical commands to display the menu. Uh, you're not restricted from using those. If you were to go into the editor the old way by pressing the space bar, you would have all these functions that are still available to you. So if I still want to use C to change, I can press C to make a change. So even though you have these new easily accessible buttons always available on the panel, it doesn't mean you can't use it the way you've typically been using it in the past or the way you prefer to use it. You have both ways always active with the new panel.